being the biggest uh, shipping nation of European Union, we believe that we have to promote the competitiveness of uh, European shipping. We have to understand that the uh, shipping industry as a whole is contributing to the European economy. Therefore, we are going to, to pursue uh, the midterm review of uh, the integrated maritime policy. We are going to work in order to uh, enhance uh, research and innovation in the European shipping to uh, enhance policies that have to do with the blue growth and increasing the employment in the maritime sector. And finally, we want to enhance also transborder cooperation in order to defend our common European borders, our sea borders, in a much, uh, in a much better way than it's been done today. The recent tra tragedies uh, both in Lampedusa and Pharmaconisi will make us uh, more responsible in order to respond more accurately and in greater cooperation to this great issue of illegal immigration and illegal trespassing of our borders. Europe is bound with and dependent on the sea. The maritime sector is a key asset to the European Union's economy and growth. The European Union has a strong interest in a sustainable business environment for the maritime sector while respecting safety and environment. Advanced information and communication technologies offer a vast potential not only in terms of making maritime transport more efficient but also to simplify it. The European Parliament has always been a strong supporter of maximum facilitation and reduction of administrative burdens for the direct maritime business. We therefore welcome the initiatives taken by the European Commission together with the industry to establish a maritime space without barriers and to promote the maritime vision. An efficient and sustainable maritime transport needs modern and efficient ports, well embedded in a multimodal European transport network and enabling seamless door-to-door -door cargo delivery chains. Investing in efficient transport infrastructure is the basis for creating growth and jobs, especially at times of crisis. With the new TNT guidelines, we have a very solid basis to contribute to Europe's mobility and competitiveness. Maritime transport and ports are encouraged to play an active role in this. The purpose of e-maritime is to improve the maritime operations through the different activities, either in the shipping sector, in the port sector, in the logistics chain sector. In order to do that, what is important is not only the flow of goods, but at the same time the flow of information. In order to expedite the flow of information, to make it much more reliable, dependable, you, we, you need, we need new concepts, new techniques, new procedures, new technology that would make everything more interoperable and much more efficient in order to uh, avoid uh, duplication and the problems connected with the uh, paper uh, world. So we're trying to make a paper-free world in the maritime sector which would, be, uh, which would give a higher quality of service to everybody involved and a much more efficient use of resources. What EMAR project solutions aim to achieve our benefits in terms of efficiency, effectiveness, cost savings and environmental performance improvements? For example, the dynamic port scheduling system that is developed through EMAR will reduce congestion in the ports, will improve the turnaround times for uh, ships, will reduce the costs again for the entire value chain, the logistics value chain, and uh, will improve the environmental performance for the stakeholders in the shipping uh, chain. E-Maritime is a win-win situation for all stakeholders in the shipping uh, value chain in terms of increased efficiency, in terms of uh, transparency, in terms of costs 
And last but not least, in terms of reduced environmental impact. 